working title is trans and it has a lot to do with like the adjective itself to transform to be to transgend transgress uh, all this sort of thing so it's like all about rough beauty taking the prettiness out of the the sort of like street element and, and replacing it with like some sort of like rough luxe feeling It's not trying to be new, like the whole concept of it is not trying to be like edgy, young, hip. It's like the opposite of that. It's like trying to uh, get in touch with the human side to what, what is like new. The person, the idea, the, the nitty gritty of like the, the HBA individual. So we've been working on composing the music, finishing the collection, designing the space, um, casting. Casting comes from like everywhere right now. We have women in the show. I feel like right now what we're doing instead of like looking outside for like these huge overarching concepts, it's about understanding what's going on with us in the immediate. So instead of referencing somewhere from like the outside, it's really about honing in on like the ideas that we already are working with, you know? So it's not like externally referential. There's like all these emotions and ideas that are set into motion. And I feel like each show is like an iteration on that theme. It like smallifies it to name it, you know? So I think that like during the shows, people, it's like visual, people like see stuff that they like, but also there's like hopefully different emotions that they feel. And I think I'm more interested in he hearing what that is than like telling people what it is, you know? <laughs> no, he's Earth Mama. He's not doing anything with an electric guitar in it unless it's like Grateful Dead. And it's Were you tight hat necklace with the wood have, beads. Yeah, it had so an eight ball on it. 311. 311. Oh, he's not. He wasn't that. He wasn't in the luck. He's lying. He admitted to Blind Melon. 311. You don't play man. I don't feel the sun's coming out today. I'm walking away all embarrassed. It was a long time ago. She's Blind Melon. Act like we don't know exactly who he is. Spin man. Oh, honey. How about you have like this open? Like, share with me. Oh no, don't come on your teeth. I might give you like crop top. Excuse me. Do you have crop top? Or like just as big as a Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's consistent within the, the backbone of what people identify with the brand. The kind of like graphic sensibilities of it are, are remain there. That's why we kind of try to keep it like as chill and as true blue as possible. It's almost like a like not a waiting game, but allowing people to like indulge in what they gravitate towards in the brand, while pushing new concepts into it. You know, I think that that's mostly like what has changed in general, like over the the slow growth towards having a platform to do whatever you want to do, keep the best, you know, and then move on. So it's like it's like moving towards perfection in a way for the brand. So I guess it, it just it helps along with that process. And then like you know I feel like once that happens, you can like play around much more, which is like what we're looking forward to doing this year. Um, just like within every aspect, uh, like in and outside of fashion. <laughs> Chance, I'll do a mock up on here and take a picture and show it to us. You know, show Sunday, so yeah. we can have a bottle like Sunday. <laughs> it's gonna be huge on, you know, on that Chanel scale. We don't have much time, <laughs> but we're on, on schedule. So 
so that's what I'm really excited about. And I think this will, I know this will be, will be a really great show. So what, the one in the front is the one that plays live? No. Okay, so all three screens, the way we have it set up now, all three screens are exactly the same. And it, that's exactly the same as the live stream. So there's three cameras recording one thing that goes to every, that goes out. Three cameras, three guys, and one static camera. Right. Yeah, keep the, sh keep the shoes in there, just in case it's just tough. The sag looks good. Oh, there's layers. Did I try you in this? Not only Shane, but I feel like there's just an incredible team behind him. And if it weren't for his tremendous talent and his eye for picking a team and the support that he gets from them, you know, that's what makes it. Coming into it with not knowing the, the relationships with each other so much and and not only building a show, but actually learning their relationships with each other and how they get along and to see like how close how close knit that is with them. I mean it's it's a really, really beautiful thing to be a part of. You look like you're smiling. <laughs> I love this song. I think we're friends first, for sure. And then we like are still learning like how to work together. Everyone is like really independent, and everyone has like a huge personality. HBA is like one aspect of like a group of people's ideas and energy. Like you know how I'm saying that everybody has like a really intense personality. Um, all of those personalities come together and like form HBA. You know, there's a lot of ideas that like are working simultaneously and like each individual person is, is extremely important, you know? The last few days before the show, uh, you know, a lot of fittings for our talent, models, um, getting the build out done at our location at Pier 60, which is going to be awesome. Uh, a lot of work to do. Um, and I hear it's going to snow, so let's hope that won't hinder the process any bit.
Oh. Ready? Hold up, hold on. I'll just get focused real quick. Do we need to bring that light out, out at all? The key? Which one? The side light? The key. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty good. Can you look more into the light while you're blocking it? <laughs> it has to actually hurt. We're in a huge space. It's like twice as big as where we usually are. And we're also doing this like really independently, like no one's really helping us. <clears throat> so we were like doing the show with other people before and like, yeah, now we're just like trying, we're making this like big step to make a bigger presentation and we are doing it totally alone. So it's a little bit insane, a little bit crazy. And also, I think it's gonna be amazing. It's a location that's been used in the past, but it's one that, that's unique and, and it doesn't get used a lot. It's a place that's, it takes a lot of creativity to make it a caliber show. There's so many people working on this show, and I don't mean like the people that are building the set, I mean just like real idea people that are putting in their like, um, like they wouldn't work on any other fashion show like on earth really, you know, and they wouldn't work on it in such a devoted way. I feel like HBA is comprised of people that like w aren't really able to work anywhere else, you know, and wouldn't work anywhere else. Um, so it's like hard, it makes the process crazy and cool. This is so funny. Thanks, Holly. Maria! Doing anything to these guys' hair? No, I no, no, but they have to take take your shirt off because we're gonna have to tape the pieces to your head. So walk me. Starting here. Oh, models. Oh yeah, you're gonna walk up on the oh, yeah, Let's get Charlie. Come on, guys. This is just a walk through. <laughs> Body foundation, lip, lip conditioner, and lots of lip clear lip glass. Mm -hmm. And then for okay. It's awesome to hear like that people all over the world are into it, you know. But also, it's like makes sense because I mean, I hear about weird shit all over the world too, you know. We never get to do anything to your hair. So never. So this Merry Christmas. Like, Merry Christmas. Christmas. I just feel like. We're not even in the place that we want to be, you know? I feel like it could be even bigger and like have even more impact, you know? Or just like the ideas that we're doing could be even clearer, you know? So it feels cool that people are listening and when we have like their attention, I don't want to lose it like at all. We're all realizing our own potential. <laughs> Get that bag work too, get that bag work. Accessories, accessories. <laughs> is that where the show studio is gonna be? Yeah. I guess everything is just like really honest, simple, <laughs> and like necessary, you know? It's really simple. 
It's really easy to make decisions when it's like either they're right or it's wrong. And it's just really clear, you know? Um, I think that right now we're building like a foundation and I want it to go like long. I want it to last. Slide over a little bit, right? Beautiful. Even more. Give me some of the, give me the face. More, yeah, this is more drama, more drama. Great, thank you. Wait, what's that for? Just existing without anything that's happened before. I think it's a bit about... We're gonna go sit down just at this yeah. point. Where's Rocky go? Where's Adonis? Can we get together real quick? Take a picture? You come on. Hey, I can take All right, now, no we in wigs. Let's not try to get too, like, <laughs> we're about to do an ad. I'm dug in it. Well, let's Which go. We're facing? We can yeah. face this way because the light. Oh, oh, get it, 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 Like you're late for the train. I know who to go after. Listen, turn it on. Like me, cause I'm S H A D Y Shade D. The girls on the side know they can't take me. Bitch, I'm in a place and I'm cut pussy. You don't know that, bitch, I serve like me, cause I'm S H A D Y Shade D. The girls on the side know they can't take me. Give it down my leg, give it down my leg, give it down my leg, pussy, wait, yeah, give it down my leg, give it down my leg. Wait, hold on, I ain't done yet.
baby! <laughs> oh my god. I'm just like blown away.